Here to react is Fox News contributor and retired acting ICE director Tom Homan. Good morning, Director Homan. Listen, you heard that quote. What's your reaction? Is this Biden's government finally acknowledging a crisis at the border? You know, when I first heard it, I said, you know, where the hell's he been? <laughs> I mean, I've been saying this is a national security crisis for a year and a half. But the follow-up question should have been, well, what are you doing about it, Director Ray? Have you told the White House your concerns about this? Have you told the Secretary of Homeland Security about this? What is the action plan? How are you going to secure the United States? How are you going to attack this national security threat that you just talked about? That should have been the line of question. But look, here's what people need to understand. I don't care what your opinion is on illegal immigration. When you create this crisis they've created that has taken up to 70 percent of border stations off the line, criminal cartels move drugs, they move bad people, and they're going to move terrorists. They've arrested 50, what, 53 people on terrorist watch this already. After 9-11, Joey, we create all these databases because we learn people get visas coming to the United States to blow things up. So we created the no-fly list. We created a screening database. We created the visa security program, the FBI database, and DOD intel databases. So we have all these databases to, to vet people who want to come here on a plane or get a visa. And those systems worked well. We, we prevented thousands of people with derogatory information on coming to this country. But those systems mean nothing now. Because why are you going to put yourself in a position to be vetted and be outed by, by all these databases when you can simply walk across the southwest border the way 900,000 others did? Since Joe Biden became president, we have approximately 900 thousand people that enter this country illegally that weren't arrested, gotaways. And that's not a guessing. That's based on camera traffic, drone traffic, and, 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 yeah. and, and uh, center traffic. We know 900,000 enter the country without being vetted. That is a real security issue. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad this the FBI director is admitting it, but what's the action plan? You know, we talk about uh, Mayor Bowser, Mayor Adams getting 50, 100, or 1,000 migrants on a bus or over a month, and they call that a crisis. If that's a crisis, what is 5,000 people into a border town? What is this migrant surge doing to the towns along the border, not just in Texas and Arizona, but all up through uh, the, the corridor where coyotes take them all the way over to the East Coast? Well, look, it's devastating these communities. I've been on the southwest border a dozen times this past year. And look, Marion Bowser and, and, and Mayor Adams, if, if you want this to stop, how about calling the White House, tell the President Biden to secure the border? We did it under the Trump administration, the highest level we ever had. The playbook is there. Just dust off the playbook and secure the border. But both of these cities take pride in the fact they're sanctuary cities. Both of them have out of control crime, crime rates right now, right? Each of these cities release criminal aliens to the streets every day. They used to work with ICE. You used to have a dozen agents in Rikers Island. Now, if you're an illegal alien in New York City and you get arrested for a violent crime, after they're done with you, they release you back in the street to reoffend. Yeah. So are these mayors doing everything they can to address the crime rate? No. So stop your sanctuary city policies. I got news for you, Mayor Adams. They're coming to New York anyway. Yeah. They're coming there. And you didn't say a damn word. When President Biden was, were, were flying people in the middle of the night, that was fine. <laughs> but when a Republican governor does it, all of a sudden it's a problem. You know, a sanctuary city is a place where people ask for migrants to come there, and uh, that's what New York calls itself, and that's what D.C. calls itself. So the irony yes, is sir. not lost on the American people. Uh, Tom Homan, thank you so much for joining us. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.